welcome students again into the 12th science chemistry class we are learning the chapter number first that is the solid state and in the last two lecture we already learned the types of the uh, solids that is the crystalline solid and amorphous solid and we also learned the again uh, the types of the crystalline solids uh, that is the metallic solid again covalent network solid ionic solid and molecular solids and now uh, in this chapter we have to learn in details about the crystalline solids only rather than amorphous solids now we uh, always uh, in this chapter we have to speak some that is the terms that is uh, crystal lattice basis then what are these terms now what are the lattice what are the basis and what are the crystal how we can differentiate between these deep, uh, three terms now let us see this figure here i show the lattice now the equation is that lattice plus basis gives crystal now lattice are nothing but they are the geometrical arrangement of the points only remember that points means not the constituent particles that are only the point that is the theoretical point as that of the uh, geometric point so arrangement of the points into the geometric shape is called as the lattice and when the constituent particles attach to the lattice point then they form the that is the crystal now that constituent particles which attach the lattice points are called as the basis suppose these are the constituent particles cations and anions is there now these constituent particles are nothing but the basis and when these constituent particle attaches to the lattice points then that form that is the crystal now this is the main equation that is lattice plus basis gives the crystal so the ordered three dimensional arrangement of particles in a crystal is described by using the two terms namely lattice and basis now this three dimensional arrangement of the constituent particles in the crystal is described by using the two terms lattice and basis now let us learn about the lattice lattice is the geometrical arrangement of points lattice is the geometrical arrangement of points here the geometrical arrangement is rectangular sometimes it may be cubic sometimes it may be hexagonal or tetragonal tetrahedral in this way so the geometrical arrangement of the points is called as the lattice lattice is the geometrical arrangement of points in three dimensional periodic array three dimensional periodic array means crystal so the arrangement geometrical arrangement of the points in the crystal is called as the lattice now a crystal structure is obtained this crystal structure is obtained by attaching a constituent particle to each of the lattice points when we attach the constituent particle to each of these lattice point we obtain a crystal so a crystal is uh, a crystal structure is obtained by attaching a constituent particle to each of the lattice points when we attach the constituent particles to each of the lattice point we obtain a crystal structure again such constituent particles that are attached to the lattice point these constituent particles that are attached to the lattice point are called as basis or it is called as the basis the constituent particles which attach to the lattice point it's called as the basis so the constituent particle that are attached to the lattice point 
called as the basis. These are the constituent particles. These are the basis. And what is then the crystal? Then uh, a crystal lattice is also called as space lattice. Remember that. The crystal lattice is also called as the space lattice of the crystal. Thus, a crystal structure that result by attaching the basis to each of the lattice point is called as the crystal structure. The crystal structure is nothing but it is the result of attaching the basis to the lattice point is called as the crystal. Or when the basis attaches to the lattice point, it forms the crystal. Now, uh, it, uh, this that is the crystal a lattice and basis is represented by the following equation. Now this is the equation. Lattice plus basis give crystal. Now let us learn again the another term which is also used into the crystalline solids. That is the unit cell. Now what is the unit cell? Now unit cell is the basic Unit uh, cell is the basic unit of the crystal. That is, it is the basis of the crystal. We know that the bricks, bricks are the basis or basic structure of the wall or the house or home. Again, uh, the our body basis that is the cells. So, cells are the basic units of our total body. So many uh, cells form the tissue, so many tissue form the organs and so many organs form the organ system and so many organ system form that is the human body. So the main basic unit of the human body or any living uh, organism is always the cell and that is exactly same for the crystal for the crystal, the unit cell is the basic structure. So many unit cells stopped together and form the crystal. Three dimensional crystal. So on putting the unit cell to each other, they matches the corners of the unit cell as well as that of the uh, that uh, lattice points that is the basis also get uh, arranged by stocking the unit cell on each other and there is the formation of three dimensional crystal is there. Now uh, learn the definition of the unit cell. Let us learn. The smallest uh, repeating structural unit, the smallest repeating structural unit of a crystalline solid is called as the unit cell. The smallest repeating structural unit of the crystalline solid is called as the unit cell. So the uh, smallest repeating structural unit of the crystalline solid is called as the unit cell. So it is important to understand that a geometric shape of the unit cell is the same as that of the geometric shape of the crystal. Now, crystal is the macro structure, but unit cell is the micro structure. But as if the structure have the cubic shape, that means if the uh, crystal have the cubic shape, then its unit cell also have a tiny cubic shape. That means it is important to understand that the geometric shape of the unit cell is the same as that of the crystal. For example, if the crystal has cubic shape, the unit cell will also have the tiny cubic shape. When the unit cells are stopped or put together on each other, it generates three dimensional crystal. So on repeating the unit cell in a stock, we obtain the three dimensional macro crystal. Now let us learn more information about the unit cell.
Now pay attention students on a blackboard. We are learning the, about the unit C. Now let us learn more information about the unit C. We know that unit cell is the basic structural unit of the crystal. So many uh, unit cell when stocked together on each other there is formation of the three dimensional crystal. Now the dimensions of unit cell along the three axes are denoted by the symbols small letters A, B, C. The axis. Now these. That is the. This y axis. X axis. And z axis. Now they are denoted by the symbol. A, B, C. This is the C. This is the B. And this is the A. That is height. Length and breadth. Now the dimension of the unit cell along the three axes are denoted by the symbol by the small letters that is small a b c and the angle between these axes are represented by the symbols alpha beta and gamma as shown in the figure now see this is the angle between these c and b axis this angle is called as the alpha angle now the angle between the C and A axis, this is the beta angle and the angle between the A and B axis, this angle is the gamma angle. Now these are the six dimensions of the unit C. Now let us learn about the types of unit C. There are totally four types of unit cells. But in this chapter, we have to learn in details only the first three types of the unit cell. And that are the simple unit cell, body centered unit cell and face centered unit cell. Now this is only for our study that this is the fourth type of the unit cell that is the base center unit cell. Now the, there are four types of unit cells. First one is the primitive or simple unit cell. Now what is in the simple unit cell? In primitive or simple unit cell, the constituent particles are present at its corners only. Now see this figure. This is the simple unit cell. Now the constituent particles in these unit cells are only present at the corners of the unit cell. We know that this cubic unit cell have the eight corners. So at the eight corners of this unit cell there are the constituent particles. So in primitive or simple unit cell the constituent particles are present at its corners only. Now second type that is the body centered unit cell. As the name suggests there is one particle present in its body of the unit cell. And also in addition to that, there are the particles at the eight corners also of that unit cell. So body center unit cell, in body center unit cell, one particle is present at the center of its body in addition to the corner particles. Now see this figure. This is the body centered unit cell, cubic unit cell. In this, there is one particle at the center of the body and also at the eight corners of that unit cell, there are the particles. Now, third one is the face centered unit cell. This is also as the name suggests, at each face, there are the particles of that unit cell and in addition to that, at the corners also there are the constituent particles in the face center unit cell. Now we know that the cubic or rectangular uh, that is the three dimensional structure always have the six faces. Now the match box, see the match box. Uh, to that match box there are the six faces. 
Now, how that six faces? One in upper, one, two, three, four. And the front is the fifth and the back is the sixth. So, at each face here, this is the face center in unit cell. At each face, there are the constituent particles to the upper side and to the back side also. That is the six constituent particles. And at the corners also, there are the constituent particles in the face centered unit cell. And the last, that is the fourth number, fourth type of unit cell is the base centered unit cell. No face. That means only the two opposite faces have the constituent particles. In addition to that, there are the particles at the eight corners of that unit cell. Now, this is the base centered unit cell. In base centered unit cell, only two opposite faces have the constituent particles. In addition to that, at the corners also there are the constituent particles. So, base center unit cell, this unit cell consists of the particles at the center of any two of its opposite faces in addition to the corner particles. Now, these are the four main types of the unit cell that is the primitive or simple unit cell, body centered unit cell, face centered unit cell and base center unit cell. And there are totally six dimensions in the unit cell. The three axes which are denoted by the small letters ABC and the three angles between those three axes that are denoted by the symbol alpha, beta and gamma. Now this is about the unit cell. Now in the next lecture we will learn about the crystal system and the cubic system also. Now, if student you understand this, that is what is unit cell, what is lattice, what is basis and what is the crystal and what is the equation, that is lattice plus basis give the crystal uh, and also the about the unit cell which is the basic structural unit of the crystal and its four types, simple cubic cell, uh, simple unit cell, body centered unit cell, face centered unit cell and base center unit cell. In details, if you understand this very well, then you like, subscribe and share this video to the other 12 science students so that they also uh, have a help to understand this topic and they can successfully score the board examination as well as the entrance examination uh, which are the national, that is the JE and NWD NEET and also that is the uh, also that is the Maharashtra city they can be uh, scored into that. So thank you for watching the video. Subscribe this video.